Hi everyone. Welcome to Heart Center Tarot. And as always, my name is Marina and I will be your guide for this portion of the journey. I'm glad to have you back. Mm, clearly, I have calmed down. <laughs> I took a lot, a lot of time yesterday and just um, reflected on different things. Um, sort of consulted my cards, consulted the spirit, consulted my guides, and just sort of sat in in some different energies. And ultimately, what the message was, and some of you actually pointed it out in the comments, is there is a higher purpose. And as much as I guide people sometimes to um, give in to spirit, to give in to source, to accept what is happening and to let go of the fear uh, for a little while yesterday, I forgot to take my own advice. So, <clears throat> after <sighs> burning a little sage, after um, contemplation, I think I've come to understand that this really is part of a bigger picture. And I want to thank some of you for pointing that out to me, for sort of you know, holding up the, the mirror and, um, and saying, you know, look, look within, look, what would you tell yourself if you were, if you were sitting across from yourself asking for advice, what would you say? And that's sort of the, the energy that I went with. So, yes, the, uh, the verdict was not what we had anticipated. The verdict was not um, what my guide said would be. And I thought, you know, It's not that they gave me wrong information. It's that they very, very nicely answered um, one of the things that I include in my in my meditation prayer. You know, as we before I begin, um, in part of the meditation prayer is that. Reveal to me what should be known now, and keep for me what should remain secret. And that's exactly what the guides did. They showed me what I needed to know, and they didn't show me what I didn't need to know. So, <clears throat> have faith. Have faith that this is all part of a larger plan, all part of something that um, we may not understand. It may be uh, beyond our comprehension. And maybe that's exactly the way that it should be for now. Maybe this is a time when we all need to do a little bit of self-reflecting. So. That's sort of what I wanted to, to chat with uh, with you today. And I wanted to take a look at going forward to see if there was any any messages that Spirit maybe wanted me to focus on and wanted me to share with you. Um, so with that in mind, I wanted to give gratitude. Um, for those of you that are listening, 
I wanted to give gratitude for the messages that have been received and that I am able to share with you. I wanted to give gratitude for the lessons that I'm being taught. Um, the ones that I'm aware of, the ones that I have yet to become aware of, and the ones that are waiting for me. I give gratitude for that. I think you should too. So, let me start off with a little meditation prayer and the, my reading prayer, and we'll take it from there. And we are going to relax in the serenity and find comfort in the messages that are going to come through. I know we are. So, as always, feel free to join me if you'd like. And if not, if this isn't your thing, that's just fine too. Think about something that brings you peace, that brings you joy. Okay, let's go. I call on my guides, ancestors, angels, and ascendant masters to protect me as I read and deliver these messages from Universal Spirit. May this reading and the messages provided be guided by and delivered with love, clarity, and truth. Reveal to me what should be known and keep from me what should remain secret. Guide me to always manifest the highest possible good for myself, my spiritual family, and humanity at large. Amen. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. So I wanted to consult with the Return to Spirit Oracle cards and to see what... Um, let's start with what, what messages the Spirit wants us to to concentrate on or to, to think about or whatever. So, and don't forget, if you find value in, in this channel, subscribe, like, share the video. And if you're interested in having a personal reading, send me an email and we'll set up a time. I would love to read for you. And you could reach me at heartcenteredtarot at outlook.com. So I'm going to try to put that in the description. Listen to me talking like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm still learning YouTube. I'm still trying to figure out how to navigate my way around around things. But I will put that in the description. So I'll take a look. And um, hopefully it'll be there when I'm done. Alrighty. Okay, Spirit. What do I need to think about? What do we need to concentrate on? Return of Spirit. Simplicity. That's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. I can, I feel sort of a tingle in my spine. I think the message that I'm getting here is look up. We are we are at a time of ascension. We are at a time where our vibration is being lifted. And as we are being lifted, um 
we are focusing on on the crown chakra look at this and I understand that when I put the cards up that they are coming up sort of in mirror form I'm not exactly sure how to how to change that but I'll figure it out and I'll get it changed but look at that card look at how everything is focused on the on the crown chakra on the the going going up going up so yes focus on the crown chakra allow yourself to be open to the messages that are coming in allow yourself to feel and to sort of sit in the energy of the return to spirit we have sort of, um, we have forgotten how, how in touch we are, how powerful we are, how um, we are part of the divine. We are part of that universal energy, all of us, every single one of us. And sometimes we forget. You know, the daily life gets in the way, the bills, the mortgage, the, the this, the that, whatever, that, you know, we forget. So we, sometimes we need to be reminded. And sometimes, you know, the spirit will find creative ways of, of reminding us and sort of getting the message across. And if we were all supposed to take a deep breath, and just calm the mind. Calm the, the ego part. And kind of push that down and say, no, no. No, no, yeah, I know you jumped up. And yeah, you did. You scared me. You scared me. But I'm not going to stay down here. I'm not going to stay in fear. I'm going to rise above it. What better way is there to get us collectively, and so many of us to that point, but to kind of shake us, shake us a little. And maybe using um, Kyle Rittenhouse was the way to do it. You got my attention. <laughs> and I know it did a lot of others. So, sort of our lesson to, um, to pay attention to, to spirit. To know that, you know, the universe has our back. Right? The universe is constantly conspiring for our highest good. As, as a community individuals and let's think about it if we are part of the source if we are part of the universe if we are all one then why would the universe hurt any of us it doesn't make sense because you hurt one you hurt the others so let's give Let's give in to that. Let's give in to the return of spirit. <sighs> Let's focus a little bit on the simplicity. The simplicity of giving gratitude. The simplicity of giving a smile to someone who doesn't have one. Share yours. They're free. <laughs> They're free. And you never know what what a smile can do to change someone else's day. Well, it's a little tough. We're all wearing masks, and you know. But even underneath that mask, if you smile, it shows in your eyes and the other person can feel it. I truly believe that. So that's kind of where things are right now is Let's just concentrate 
on on knowing that as I said spirit has our back the universe is constantly and consistently conspiring to um, not to for our highest good and we have faith in that and we have to give gratitude for that you know we say thank you thank you thank you for the lesson all right now Now, let's take a look at some of the other things that are happening around the world. Let's take a look at what's happening in Europe. And Austria is going back into a lockdown. We've got, we've got China flexing its muscle. Um, we've got Russia having a finger in every pot, entertainment purposes only, YouTube. <laughs> we've got things coming this month. We've got the Elaine Maxwell trial is going to be starting. Sorry, I was just getting a little, a little bit of a download. <laughs> Someone asked a little while ago, and it, I think it was in one of the chats, and I can't remember where and it was. Does the question was, does spirit have a sense of humor? Um, yes, the spirit does. Um, when <laughs> when I'm in the middle of chatting with you kind and gentle folk and I am sharing information and spirit comes in and interrupts me and then you have a few seconds of staring at me going eh. <laughs> yeah spirit does have a sense of humor a very good one okay so what shall we read on first? Um, I think I'm, I'm, I'm being pulled towards Ghislaine Maxwell. Um, so, all right, I'm going to use the tarot to see what, what cards come up. And, and then, if I'm so guided, I will use my cards. And we will take it from there. Okay. Ghislaine Maxwell Trot. How are things going to go? Hmm? Okay. We've got the Ace of Cups. We've got the Nine of Wands. Oh. the Queen of Cups. We've got the King of Swords. And we've got the Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. Emotions are high. I get the feeling that as she is preparing for this, I just feel um, like my my insides are turning inside out. Um, I think she, I'm feeling like she is worried and I'm feeling like she's gotten to the point that She's not going to do this anymore. She's had enough. The emotions have gotten um, the better of her. 
Things are now happening fast and furious. I think she's getting ready to uh, reveal what she knows. I think she's gotten to the to the point where um, yeah, her her cup is full. She can't take any more. And I think she is going to expose the king. She's going to speak truth about the king. And, and hope that the things that she exposes and says whatnot will um that it will lead to the other things being exposed. Don't get me wrong. This is not a person that I like. I think she's a horrible human being. I think karma is going to follow her around for a good long time. However, I also think that she's getting to the point where she is questioning why, why she's being quiet. She's asking herself why she is, she's the one behind bars. Yes, she should be. I mean, that's, that's exactly where she should be. Um, but she's thinking in a very selfish way that She's the only one that's being pu punished. Everybody else that's kind of been uh, involved in this is walking around. They're still having their parties. They're still taking their trips. They're still have access to their wealth. Their, you know, things, their, their names might be mentioned, you know, sort of in, in a whisper. But really, you know they're they're walking free and she's the only one behind bars so she is yeah she's thinking she's thinking and that's good when that happens and people start to uh, start to come to terms with with what the consequences of their actions are. Then yeah, I think she is going to spend a good deal of time in jail. Yeah, she should. And whatever time she gets is not going to be nearly enough to the time that, that she should, but you know what? Spirit. We leave it to spirit. Karma is going to settle the score. That's all we have to know. That's all I have to know is karma will settle the score in a way and in a manner that is going to benefit all. So, and it's going to do it more clearly and more consistently and more beautifully than anything that I could conceive. So, all right, I'm going to ask the same question of my, of my cards, and let's see what, if they give me any more information about going and what's happening in her little world right now. Mmm, feed your soul. Time for change. Turmoil? Are you standing in your own way? And illumination. Yes. I think she's gone through through turmoil and will continue to go through turmoil. And the more that she goes through, the angrier she gets. 
the more determined she becomes that someone else is going to be sharing the downfall with her. So I think she is going to bring forth information that is going to illuminate. Illuminate some names for us. And, you know, as I said, she's not one of my favorite people. I, I think she is horrible. But at the same time, you know what? She is trying to feed whatever is left of her soul. And it's not for me to judge. It's not for me to judge. So, yep, yeah, I think she is going to start speaking. Mm -hmm. Institution. False evidence appearing real. Fear. Yep, yeah, she is coming a little bit from fear. New career. Forgive. And expect a ways. Well, yes, I think it's going to take some time before before we see the, the outcome of all this. But, yeah, she is. She is experiencing fear in that institution. And she is um, she is looking for forgiveness. Um, delays are inevitable. I mean, her, um, her people, her lawyers are going to want to, um, to negotiate the best possible deal for her. So, you know, it's, it's not going to happen quickly, but I think that as the trial starts, I think that there will be a delay, and the delay will come as a result of the prosecution and the defense being in talks again. So, yeah, time for change. <sighs> okay. My darling. We are at 27 minutes. I don't want to keep you longer. I just wanted to share with you the news that you know, have faith, take a deep breath, do a little bit of smudging, <laughs> use, use sage, do whatever you need to do to ground yourself, And just, just know that the lessons that we are being taught right now are for our highest good. And be grateful for them because ultimately they're there to teach us, right? So that our our collective energy can be raised so that we can be more positive and let's see what we can do to help Mother Earth and each other. So I am not going to leave you. I am going to go to my little metaphysical store here and I'm going to buy some more incense and I'm going to buy some more some more sage and some more sweet grass and some more of things that make me happy. And I'm going to choose to live in happiness, to live in gratitude, to live in joy, and to live in the knowledge that the universe has my back, no matter what. It's got your back too. So until you come back to play again, I hope that you are well. I hope that you're going to have a super weekend. And I look forward to seeing you again. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.